Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video I'm going to talk to you about digital data acquisition. This is the actual data acquisition system we use in the lab, which I'll show you in a second. But believe me, you're going to love taking data with a computer because in a few of the labs we're going to have you take data by hand and you're going to see that that sticks. So first off I want to talk to you about what digital data acquisition is. And all it is is this. Let's say that we had some real signal here, probably a voltage coming from our sensor. Maybe it looks like this, we'll call that V. Digital data acquisition says we're going to come along and at regular points in time, which we'll be able to set that, it's called a sampling rate, we're going to take a measurement of this signal. So at the first point, we're going to take a measurement. At the second point, we'll take a measurement. And I'm just drawing our measurements here as little circles. But at each of these regular points in time, we're just taking a measurement, and your computer's going to store those measurements. And then afterwards, you can come through and you can do analysis on this. You can look at the data. but Digital data acquisition is used all the time, and it's incredibly useful. So let's take a look at the equipment. The most important pins that we're concerned with are going to be on this side of the system here, and they're going to be this CH0H and CH0L. What that stands for is channel 0 low and channel 0 high, and we have the same thing for channel 1 over here, which we'll use. What this it does is you want to connect channel 0 low to whatever you want to be the reference of your measurement, and then channel 0 high is going to be whatever you're measuring the voltage of. So usually low will be ground and high will be some voltage we're trying to measure. But if we wanted to hook this system up to the frequency for the function generator, all we would have to do is connect our red wire to the high channel, which I've connected a red wire to here, and our low wire to the low wire from the function generator. And if we turn on our function generator, now we'll be able to measure these signals using this data acquisition system. Also on the side is this plug, which should be connected to your computer, but if not, you can just uh, reconnect it. We've created a sample program in MATLAB to help you use your data acquisition system. So all you have to do is click Run, and you give it a second. And I'll show you this program more later on, but it will come up with our sine wave here, and it saved the data into MATLAB. MATLAB has a function built into it to help you use this data acquisition system like an oscilloscope. All you have to type in is soft scope in your MATLAB window and then it'll take a second for the hardware configuration window here to come up. You want to make sure this top part adapter says MCC, ID is set to zero, and the sampling rate we'll talk more about later, but that's fine for now. I always unselect all the channels and then just pick the one I want and click OK. I still have my data acquisition system connected to the function generator, so now all I have to do is click trigger down here. And now you can see this looks more or less like the oscilloscope. If I click stop, that was sampling data continuously. And if I hover over points on this graph here, you can see that it'll show me the values of the time and the voltage that it sampled there. You can also do a one-shot acquisition, where now if I press trigger, It'll just collect one set of data rather than running continuously, which sometimes I prefer to do. I can also change some of the scales here. For example, if I change the horizontal scale, I can see either more or less data. And I can also change the vertical scale to make my trace either bigger or smaller. So that's it for the soft scope. In the next video, I'll show you a piece of MATLAB code that we've written to help you collect data, which is a lot more useful, especially for some of the experiments we'll run later on. But I'll see you then.